Hello, I am Seamus Dunhu of EVE University. After I uploaded my most recent video explaining missiles and launchers, I realized that I completely forgot to talk about the support skills related to missiles and missile launchers. So consider this an addendum. Uh, so if you show info on the missiles, all right, or you show info on the launcher, uh, you can go to the requirements tab and you can see the skills that are actually required for the missiles and for the launchers. If, you're, if you lack these skills, you cannot use the relevant equipment at all. The game won't let you do it. But there are other skills that make your missiles and your launchers better without themselves being prerequisites. Uh, by the way, I am once again on the Singularity Test Server. Today is Tuesday, October the 11th, 2016. And CCP has pushed a new version uh, to the Singularity Test Server. But anyway, let's go to the character sheet. And here is the missile section. All right. uh, let, me, let me readjust this. And from here, I can browse all of the skills in the missiles category. Right. And mousing over the support skills, what I'm referring to as support skills here, Missile Bombardment is a 10% bonus to maximum the missile's maximum flight time per level. Right? So I have Missile Bombardment trained to level 4, so that's a 40% bonus to the flight time for all of my missiles. Which is why when you, in the previous video, when we looked at a stock Inferno rocket out of the box, the flight time was only 2 seconds, but as fit to the Kestrel and Condor that I had partially fit, it was 2.8 seconds. Right. Uh, rapid Launch is a 3% bonus to the rate of fire per level. Uh, so I have this at level 4, so for me that's a 12% bonus to rate of fire. Let's be very careful here, by the way. Remember when I in the previous video when I said that rate of fire as an attribute was a misnomer? It's actually a refire time. So this bonus is really a 12% reduction to the refire time. It's not a 12% increase to the rate of fire. Any mathematician will tell you that uh, 1 divided by 0 0.88 is not equal to 1.12, right? So let me grab my calculator. So if I reduce the refire time by 12%, so the refire time is only 88% of normal, that's actually a rate of fire increase, honest to goodness rate of fire increase of 13.6%, right? So that applies generally in EVE Online. So with any turret system or any missile system, a, a rate of fire increase is actually a decrease to the refire time. It's, so this, is, this rapid launch is really a 3% uh, bonus to decrease the refire time per level of rapid launch. Target navigation prediction uh, gives you a 10% decrease. This is worded really weird. 10% decrease per level in factor of target's velocity for all missiles. What they actually mean to say here is it increases the explosion velocity of your missiles. And I explained explosion velocity in the previous video. So I have target navigation prediction to uh, a train up to level 4. So my missiles have a 40% larger... Uh, explosion velocity than just simply the out-of-the-box numbers. Uh, warhead upgrades is just a 2% bonus to all missile damage per skill level. That's just a straight-up bonus to the raw damage. Right. Uh, let's see. Other skills that affect all missiles. Give me a moment. Missile launcher operation itself. Uh, besides being a prerequisite for the modules, uh, also provides a bonus, so a 2% bonus to reduce the refire time per skill level. And yes, there are two skills that do that now uh, if you're keeping score. So it's Missile Launcher Operation 
and Rapid Launch. So you get Rapid Launch up to level 5, that's a 15% bonus to reduce the refire time. You get Missile Launcher Operation up to level 5, that's a 10% bonus to reduce the refire time. So in other words, it's multiplying the refire time by 0.9 and by 0.85. So in other words, uh, it's, it's going to multiply your refire time by 0.765, if you've got both of these skills trained up to level 5. Uh, let's see. Of course, if you also train the skill relevant to, to the particular type of missile you're firing, like, say, heavy missiles, or uh, where did it go? Or heavy assault missiles, right? Or cruise missiles. Uh, here we go, cruise missiles. Then that's just a straight-up bonus to the amount of damage done by those particular size of missiles. Uh, and it's also worth pointing out that, say for example, for light missiles, five percent bonus to light missile damage per skill level. This skill applies whether you're firing these things from a light missile launcher on a frigate or a rapid light missile launcher on a cruiser or battle cruiser. Right. Uh, missile projection, 10% bonus to all missiles, maximum velocity per level. So they travel faster, and therefore further. And looking through everything, I believe that's all the support skills uh, that are relevant to all missiles. Uh, I don't think I missed anything. Uh, I believe in the other video I did mention weapon upgrades and advanced weapon upgrades. So yes, weapon upgrades reduces how much CPU your launchers and your turrets require. So you can re uh, get that up to level 5, you can reduce the CPU requirements by 25%. Advanced weapon upgrades reduces the power grid requirement, so you need fewer megawatts. Get this up to level 5, and that's a 10% reduction to how much power grid your uh, launchers and your turrets require. That might not sound too impressive at first, but keep in mind your ships only have a limited amount of CPU and power grid, so the more CPU and power grid that you have available and the less CPU and power grid that your various modules are using, the more stuff or the better stuff that you can pack onto your ship. And depending on what kinds of fights you get in, you get into, that could spell the difference between eking out victory with just a tiny sliver of health and exploding. All right. So that pretty much covers support skills for missiles. Uh, I apologize for the inconvenience in having this in two videos instead of one. Thank you for watching.